All right, guys, in this video, I actually wanted to take a minute to show you guys how you can quickly and easily measure a set of wheels with simply a straight edge and a tape measure. You guys know we've had all these builds going on here lately, and it got me thinking, we really need to do a video where we show you guys how to measure a set of wheels, whether it's a, maybe a set of wheels that you've acquired, perhaps it's a set of wheels that maybe were used that you were looking to buy. Let's go ahead. I've got a couple wheels here. We're gonna show you how to measure them real fast. All right, guys, so here's the wheels that we're gonna be measuring. So even though these are all drag racing wheels, the same principle that we're gonna be using here is gonna work on racing wheels, on like aftermarket cast wheels, or even OEM wheels. All the principles the same. So let's go ahead, let's measure these real quick, and I will show you how to get all of the dimensions off of them. All right, guys, so first up, we are gonna measure rim diameter. So basically, we are gonna measure from one side of the rim to the other. But I do wanna share some information with you because it can be a little bit confusing here. So we are not gonna measure to the outermost part of this rim. We are actually gonna measure down here in the tire bead area where the tire sits. So to do this, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the wheel, we're gonna hold it right here, and you can do this with or without a tire on it. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna take your tape measure, you wanna put it right there about on that radius, like where the tire bead would, would be where we just showed you. You're gonna come across and whatever the dimension is, on the other side of that radius is gonna be your rim diameter. So this is gonna be a 15 inch rim. Do not measure outside to outside because you'll see that's gonna be like over 16 and a quarter. Again, we wanna go from edge of the radius to edge of the radius. And again, this is gonna be a 15 inch rim diameter. Now let's go ahead and let's measure our width. All right, so now moving on to rim width. This is obviously a lot easier to do when you do not have a tire on it. If you were to have a tire on it, you could kind of stick the tape measure through the spoke and kind of eyeball it. But to do it right, obviously not having a tire on it definitely helps. What we are going to do, again, we are not going to measure from outside to outside of the rim because we have a rim lip here. We want to, again, measure where the tire bead is from here to where the tire bead is on here. So, again, taking the tape measure, what we're going to do, we're going to put it right against that mark there, come across. And whatever the dimension is here, this is gonna be our rim width. So of course here, right where that tire is, that is gonna be a 12 inch rim. So this is a 15 by 12 rim. Let's go ahead, now let's move on to backspace and offset. All right, so now with the rim flipped upside down, we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna measure our backspace. So here you'll need a straight edge. So basically, Straight edge going across the outside lips. This is where you are actually going to measure to the outside of the rim. There is a little bit of variance on wheels here. Sometimes they do go to the outside. Sometimes they go down to that second kind of recess right there. But what we're going to do with that straight edge going across the wheel, we are going to measure from the face of where the wheel would bolt to the car. We're going to measure up to the bottom of the straight edge, and you're going to see that this is going to be a three-inch backspace wheel. So with offset... This is where things get a little bit different. If this is a 12 inch rim with offset, a zero offset wheel would be six inch backspace. So what I mean by that is on the offset, basically they divide this wheel by two and zero offset is going to be the very, very dead center of the wheel. You see wheels that have negative offset and then you see wheels that have positive offset. So wherever the face of that wheel is where it bolts at the car, the, the farther it goes towards the outside of the wheel, that is going to be more and more positive offset. The more it goes to the backside of the wheel, that is going to be negative offset. So a lot of these wheels, typically they use more of like a metric system on that. But just to explain what negative and positive offset is, depending on where that is, that will be a metric distance from the center of the wheel out this way or out that way. So now let's go ahead. Let's measure our bolt pattern. All right, guys, so next up, I've got the rim flipped upside down. We are going to measure our bolt pattern. So on a four lug wheel, a six lug wheel, or eight lug wheel, those wheels we would actually measure from the center of one hole to the center of the next, the opposing one. On a five lug wheel, it is a little bit different. So on a five lug wheel, what we are going to do is we are going to measure from the center of one hole to the basically the outside edge of the opposing hole. Only on a five lug wheel is it like this, but I did want to give you that information. So basically what we are gonna do here, we are gonna get the center of this hole set up. We come across and then the outside edge of the opposing lug measures five inches. 
that is what we call a five on five bolt pattern. So the first number is how many bolt holes you have. So five on five would be five inches. So if we were, say we had a GM wheel here, that would be like a five on four and three quarters. So five lugs, four and three quarter, typically distance on a GM car. A lot of Fords are five on four and a half. And then a lot of like newer cars, for instance, like our, our CTSV here, actually is a metric bolt pattern. So you would have to measure that metrically, but still the same concept. So say for instance, uh, you measured from here to the outside edge, that could be like 114 millimeters. So that would be a five on 114 wheel. So at that point, that pretty much explains how we have come up with our bolt pattern dimension. All right, guys, so we're gonna do one more wheel just for a little extra homework. So again, we want to set up our tape measure right on that bead lip radius right there. We are going to come across, and then again, on that radius, hopefully on this black wheel, it shows up, but that's a 17 inch diameter. All right, so next up, we are gonna measure the width on this wheel. It is gonna be a little bit harder because we have a tire on this wheel. So we're just gonna have to do the old stick it through the spoke method. So we're gonna get it lined up on that side and then we're gonna kind of eyeball it here. And this is actually going to be a four inch width. Just to do a bolt pattern measurement real quick. Again, guys, center of one wheel to the outside edge of the next. And this one is gonna be five on four and three quarter. So this is gonna be a Chevrolet pattern. Let's go ahead, let's do that last wheel real fast. All right, so finally we have our billet specialties wheel here. So this lip does use a very common lip. So the other two wheels I showed you were either flat or had that wider lip. This actually has a little bit of a step lip, but same thing, we're not gonna measure to there. We are gonna measure right, right on the edge of that radius. We're gonna come across and then same thing, the edge of that radius on the other side. This is also going to be a 15 inch diameter rim to get the width on it. Same deal, guys. We are going to have to measure using the old stick it through the hole method and guess at it. And then this wheel measures right at eight inches on width. All right. So next up, we are going to measure the backspace on this wheel. So basically, same thing. We're going to take a straight edge. We're going to put it on the wheel. We are gonna take our tape measure and we are gonna measure from the face of the wheel where it bolts up. And then this wheel right here measures right at three and a half inches of back spacing. And guys, while I have this wheel flipped upside down, I don't have any cast wheels to show you this here at the shop, but on a cast wheel, not a billet wheel like this, a lot of times actually you will see some identification marks on the back side of the spokes. So we can pretend like this is a 18 by nine cast wheel you will actually see on one of the spokes, it'll be cast in, it'll say 18 by nine. And then on another spoke, it might have like the manufacturer's, you know, name or something. And on another spoke, it would have typically like an offset, like that metric uh, number. It'll have the metric offset number, whether it be, you know, zero or negative 18 or positive 12, something like that. So just a, a quick little hack, if you do have some cast wheels, Flip them over on the back side. All the dimensions that you would need for a wheel might actually already be marked on it. For those of you who may be new to measuring wheels, I hope you guys found that video helpful. Again, just wanted to do a quick little video explaining some of the common dimensions that you would need to know when measuring a set of wheels. But in the meantime, guys, do me a favor. Do not forget to subscribe, ring that bell. Drop me a comment. Let me know, is there anything else you want to see, you know, how to measure something or anything as far as like the race cars go? Drop a comment, let me know. As always, guys, we appreciate you watching the videos, and we'll catch you on the next one.